I want to flog you, go and pick oh, rag. Yes. Pick a pick a I a pick a go. <laughs> and the first question here yeah, is political question. No paragraph. No one says I stay talk to you. You look good. Oh, thank you, you're nice. <laughs> Hi guys. Hi. My name is Faith Michael. My name is Falokwe Ibrahim Abiyadu. And I'm Caroline Ose. My name is Alobi John Damlari. And we are going to with, with Art Media Africa. So today I'm mixing that cocktail. Today I'm going to mix the Please. accidental cocktail. Okay, I'm bringing to you today the Arewa cocktail. And why am I mixing this? It's because it blends well with my kind of work where I use um, colors and textures to mix and bring out my own ideas to you. Join me as I mix Pika Pika cocktail. And um, why I call an accidental cocktail? We say it go they involved with many, many kind of things for a year. And my palettes, they always colorful. So that Pika Pika is actually a combination of different materials that I use together. There's one. There is one primary school, something that we used to do. When you, when you come late to school, if they don't want to flog you, go and pick exactly. rand. Just pick a pick a I a pick and go. I hope after better. today I'm not going to find my belt. You, because Normally, the, the best lord is cut herself. You know, oh my god! <laughs> For me, art started quite early, when I was a teenager, but I didn't pursue it until, say, 2000 and 14, I think, but then still I wasn't pursuing it professionally. I was just doing, you know, something for the room. I started drawing when I was young, where I used pencil works and all that. Then I proceeded to working with oil colors. But based on I wanted to get more experiences and the intensity of my works, then I furthered my education with Yabatek. I was very young in my primary school days. I remember a day that my teacher sent me home because I was scribbling in my textbooks. Oh, really? In my exercise books, yes. So she was like, you, you're just wasting book now. What's this? And I got home and my mom was like, ah, she's not buying it for you. Let's go. And she got there. She said, I feel more than me. Give me serve the laugh when I hear my own story. Because oh, um, I think so when I went to get my post-UTMA form initially, I no believe say I will feed you art because I never do art for secondary school before. So that's one thing I never thought I would be. People are really doing well with this thing. My case would be exceptional and I try to make points with my art. Maybe so say, any way they pass through for life, you will be a successful person at least. Am I your story sweet too? <laughs> <laughs> I started practicing more, trying to draw something. And then I developed the passion correctly when I got to secondary school. I, I was in art department. I was the best artist in my school. I remember, come and draw Ooh. eye on the board. Come and draw ballet diagrams on the board and everything. <laughs> so I started from there and I was like, I, I like this attention. Oh my God, so I can't do this. I found myself picking interest in drawing characters from cartoon characters, draw, from drawing Super Striker, Shags. Kuju and Co. Drawing uh, cassettes uh, pictures. The environment I grew up is not something that is really art oriented, but based on saying that something where I don't like already, I have to. That's a, and I thank God for the circle of friends I have. Uh, let's say they are the people that actually discovered me because even back in school, people will be bringing their work. They want to sell work. I, what do I get when I want to sell? What do I sell? Be? Oh, I was just doing the art thing to just to make sure say I pass. Okay, if I'm to collaborate with an artist, dead or alive, um, for me, I'll job. go pick Na Van Gogh. Uh, that, that should be Da Vinci. Because when I see a movie, I see the way, even when at no pay, um, nobody buy work, just one painting when he sell, he, he was still painting. So that mindset, now waiting I carry come, say, anyhow it be, we die here. Shabby people, they, they use the art to do better things. Me self, I'm not going to slack now. I'm not come up from Vinicon County Bridge for here. The why I wish to collaborate with him is because the kind of work almost looks like I do realism and he also does realism as well. So, and 
I feel, I feel that with his, with his journey of us, he has few works, but nobody can deny that he's a genius. Oh, the first person I would say is Frida Kahlo. Okay. She was, a, she was an incredible artist. She had a disability here. She was in an accident. She, she broke her back oh. and she started painting from there. She painted herself standing, dressing up and all those stuff. It's really encouraging and inspiring. She, she, she was able to bounce back from her disability. She was disabled physically, but mentally she was very, very good. Always like, ah, ah, human being, no, no, she lay. You know, am I a ghost? <laughs> there's one lady, there's this French lady, Dennis Sedic asked something, something, Dennis Sedic. To me, that lady is crazy. Like today, she will, she will be out there with uh, a certain body of work. You will feel like, Oh my, this lady do her right. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but the next, let's just give her two weeks time. She's coming out with something mad and even I was like, ah, now wow. I just said I don't finally meet my your man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there is an artist that I love her work. I am crazy about her work. Um, she's she, I think she's based in Italy. Her name is Roberta Ofo. Gosh, I look at her work and it makes me feel like I've not even started scratching the surface of mine. <laughs> So if I could collaborate, I'd like to collaborate with her. Pablo Picasso, because Drews is an inspiration from the African, African Marx. The way, the way he thinks is out of the box, because I, I'm, I also don't think normal. <laughs> I don't think normal. <laughs> the abnormal side of me is yet to, to be That generation, they really lay better and solid foundation because if that generation knows the we self will not go face stand here. Now those generations, let me say, they day, months, they not sell work, yet they were still painting. If now we did then, I should say many of us for don't pack our bag, go back to our papa house. No joke about that. Yeah, uh, based on my perception, the other generation has done a lot of works with um, few like with a different type of materials because now we have more sophisticated materials to utilize to bring out our works but they have lesser materials and then based on their kind of works you can see the present artists they they, they they look at their works to create their own that inspiration they actually did well they tried their best even for bible self there was genesis before uh -huh. now we never read revelation so we are here today because, because of, of them, them. And we appreciate them, right? Yeah, we do. Hunger. Ah, baby. <laughs> ah, when I'm hungry. Ah. Most of my works I have online. It is hunger motivated. Bombastic side eye. Ah. Like, I, 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 I have a piece. I have a piece I titled "Fixing Oneself." I have a, I have a, a piece I titled "Dreamer." Now, hunger bring all those workouts. When others are sleeping, me and at that, at that time, me, I just start work. Midnight. Uh. When I work, one of the most unusual ways that I draw inspiration is when I'm in the bathroom. Water oh, cascading right. down my hair. I'm just <laughs> there. And then an idea will come. I'm like, ah, what's the baby? I'm showing two works at the exhibition. The first one is Omolodu. The second one is Omolodu. So let me talk about the second omolodu where you see um, it's a yellowish scheme where you would see a grandma trying to dress up for a granddaughter in preparation for Odu. So I have four works there that will be showing. One is uh, Be Bold Enough. Another one is uh, The New Me. I have The New Me, The Awakening. I have the ones for Preparation, I titled them Preparation. I have the one I titled Ma, and I have the ones I titled Joy of Fatherhood. I'm exhibiting six works, and my works, they come in pairs, like two work to a title, and truthfully, I, I didn't want to drop it for the exhibition, because I feel like seeing it in my house. I just want to- You wanted to rob us of the experience. How no, dare not, you? Not rob exactly, but- We'll I just, come to your house. I, I suspect, like I suspect that you have a lot of works in your house that you're not showing off. Your address, please. I'll tell you. <laughs> Those four works, actually, they are inspired by phases, different phases, because my works are actually spontaneous. It's not something I plan. So in my painting, I try to depict a scene where a young father is having a baby strapped to his back. 
You can see the joy on the baby's face, the relaxation, the comfort, and still you can still see the, the joy in the father's face. So I'm trying to promote love between father and children in my painting, in that particular painting. Because we need to see more of the fathers doing these things to create connections. Not every time when a child needs this, you run to the mother because he's scared that when I talk to the dad will shout at me, which is normal in every home. But I try to put it out in a place like, no, we can still relate with our fathers because me and my dad is girl. I can relate things with my father that I cannot even tell my mom. One of the work I will be exhibiting in the exhibition is titled A Diary. The work is about being contented with who you are. If we are to look at it in the world today, most people, be it a, a girl or a boy, a guy or a lady, everyone won't want bleach. They are not satisfied with their skin color. It is captured around in, in a green environment, leaves and flowers depicting the richness of the melanin skin. I put together a collection of works um, that I tag Akweja Ludo. The question of balance, are you okay? Yeah, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> no, so this I put together good. a collection of works um, tagged Akweja Ludo, a, a question of balance. And with that body of work, because of the way I always create my works, I always create it in such a way that um, the 8D sound transports you, takes you on a journey from the first piece to the last piece. Why the Sunshine One? Well, we speak about uh, the concept of time and how it affects our daily activities. So in the, in the artwork, you see a woman, a market woman with uh, um, tomatoes at her front with a very bright environment. So the time concept there is just like uh, what, how the moment has affected her. Uh, the her veins because she looks younger than what she looks like. She looks younger than that. She looks older than her age and what she has passed through and how she is shielded, shielded by the umbrella. So that's why I call it while the sunshine. Well we have said all that we want to say, but what would that be if we do not invite you to come partake of the feast? New Paragons, engaging perspectives. There are so many perspectives to pick from, and I'm very certain you'd have an amazing time at Team and Carol Gallery of Art. 7A of Ajosumu Ikeja Jari Lagos on the 18th of August. That said, oh. Titi Laya and I would be waiting to host you. I can't promise that you get a glass of avarice. I'll promise you that. But we are I'll waiting to host that. you on Sunday, 18th Especially August. Bass boost. <laughs> we need to bass boost. We need Let them energy. know the date before they show up on Saturday. <laughs> Sunday, 18th August, August yeah. 2024. See you there. Yeah. I promise you, it no good day boring. Like you will see varieties of works, styles, technique, medium, exploration, everything in one. Believe me, trust me. If you not trust me before, but trust me on this one. Everything good day mind blowing. Like we have great artists. We won't show their works on that day. Eleven different artists. Don't see other great artists alongside. Omo. Throughout that day, throughout that week, so if you could just be happy because now happiness will bring come for you. Uh, see you there, be there. Oh, let's buzz with this avarice. Okay, buzz with. Cheers. Oh, that's I don't know if you should make sense. <laughs> <laughs>